Welcome, my name is Ricardo, I'm lead developer at Chromia and uh, I would like to introduce you to the new feature we just developed. The first thing I would like to show is the Explorer. So this is our Explorer and uh, Chrome Explorer can link automatically, so without a server, without nothing, automatically to any chain built on Chromium. And in this situation, I only had the, the added one chain called Vault, which is essentially uh, the chain that is in where, in where it's possible to transfer tokens. Um, this chain in particular is linked to Testnet. Here we can see how many blocks has been built in, uh, in this chain. We are around 16,000. Uh, it took on average uh, 30 seconds to build the block and usually there is uh, uh, 0 0.034 transaction per second because uh, the blocks, as you can see, are usually empty. And this is the table where it's possible to see the blocks, that the latest blocks been built. We can see when it's been built less than a minute ago, one minute ago, one minute ago, and so forth. Here below, we can see the latest transactions that happen. Um, the latest transactions are actually uh, referring to 14 hours ago, so we're included into different blocks that here are not visible, but if we, for example, click into these, we can see that it was mine at block 14,695. This is the transaction ID, and we can see what uh, operations has been called. One was a asset transfer, uh, transactions in Chromia can host different operations, so are different, uh, so to say, functions that are called, and one transaction can call multiple of them. Um, we can see that I send money to myself, so it's exa exactly the same uh, user, but I send 200 Chroma to myself. And uh, this is an op operation, is an operation to prevent a replace attack and uh, can, should be used only in certain situations like this one where people could send the same amount of money many many times and uh, without these security parameters it will not uh, go through um this is a trans this is the transaction id the transaction hash the chain id the signers and the time this uh transaction of the block uh, which the transaction belong has been mined um, this is the block where this transaction is hosted. We can see the ID of the block. We can see the high as said before, number of transactions in it, the block ID, the chain ID again, and the time. If we want to see the account or the signer, uh, we can see that this is 02F0 something. So we should explain, expect the signature of one of these senders is, exa is exactly 02F0. And indeed, we can see 0, 2, F, 0. This is particular to Chromia, and it's the way we um, we handle the account. So essentially, the account is an ID, and it can delegate uh, his authentication to uh, different uh, sig uh, signatures, or how we call it, authenticator descriptors. Um, in this situation, this account only has one signature, single signature, so it works like uh, many other normal blockchains, but it's possible to associate multiple of these. May, for example, in case we want to uh, we want to limit uh, the user only to a sub subset of operations. So it can, with a specific signature, it can call any operation, then it can have one uh, a bit more restricted to use uh, with daily operations, for example, or on his phone or on his computer, and uh, host and ho all the this uh, more important uh, signature somewhere else, for example, on paper. Here I can see all the um, transactions that have been made in my account. Here is the la is uh, the one I was referring previously, where I sent two hundred chromas and uh, I received two hundred chromas. So essentially, it's uh, the same. Maybe we can try to make one operation. I will do it by uh, launching the DAP, clicking here. So I go back on the vault, launch DAP, and the DAP will open. Being here in the vault of Chromium, we can see its development environment. Um, we can either import an existing account or create a new one. We will create a new one. We'll select as an account name, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know. Uh, 
Jack. Password, I will just put one, two, three, four, five, six. Password one, two, three, four, five, six. And continue. Here I am listed with some words that I have to keep. I can download them into my, uh, and I can print them essentially and keep it stored safely. Or here I'm gonna write them down. We will requested to copy them. So I will do it right now. So here I'm going to copy the, the words. I have laugh, peace. Here is creating the account, and I can see this is my DAP account, my my uh, Chrome account. I can indeed send money here. To do so, I can okay. I can see that I'm automatically credited 200 chromas. This is uh, mainly because it's uh, testnet, and uh, here I can either receive tokens by scanning this or uh, I can send. To send them I can do it with QR code so I'm gonna do this because I think it's faster. So here it is and I can see everything I can indeed send an amount of let's say 180 many this is a disposable account so I can get all the tokens myself and here it is I have to write my password which was one two three four five six the reason why we have to always install the password and we cannot automatically log in is because we don't keep a session. This is uh, due to the fact that we do not uh, have any control on this vault. Uh, the vault is indeed uh, decentralized, so we have no way of touching it, of reading those data, or to make, um, to keep indeed your session in order to log in fastly. Uh, so every time you want to use something, we actually we, we need it in order to 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 sign uh, your transaction. I confirm it and then I confirm transfer. Here it is. I can see that I've been sent 180 uh, chromas and somebody else received it. So if I go here in the in the main uh, on the main page, so I have to refresh, I can see that something happened. I can see that many transactions happened. One of them was uh, probably the uh, account creation. Uh, indeed, it was a, re a register account operation, and uh, here in this blog, the transaction was about giving balance. So we gave two hundred promise to one specific account, and uh, la lastly, we have the transfer in this transaction in this block, and I can see that this user has sent one hundred eighty promise. Of course, we can uh, send this money back. Uh, to do so, I will use my wallet, uh, which is in my uh, phone, and I will scan this QR code here. So here, if I refresh the page, I will be asked again for the password because, of course, uh, I don't, uh, I, I, we don't store it in in plain text. Here I can see probably that now I have 70 chromas, so I got some money and I can say I got the money from the same person I sent it to. I can copy the transaction, paste it here, and yet I can see that I sent 50 chromas to this user. The feature of our vault is the possibility to actually use a single sign on login, so I'm gonna sign in again. And here I can see that I can link apps. In this moment, I have no apps that has been linked, but I can see that I have some apps that I, I didn't link yet. So this is actually how uh, a developer who makes an application can uh, be uh, exposed into the Chromia uh, ecosystem in this in this uh, hub, let's say the vault, which acts as a hub for the user, can see all the apps that are available on the platform. and. Uh, for example, we can uh, link Jack with Community, which is our fully decentralized Reddit application. Here I can see that something is going on, people are writing, which is very, very nice. And, uh, but I can log in, so I will just put Jack. And then I'm redirected to the vault. Here I will put my password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Sign in, and here I am, logged in. I can see my profile. Uh, so also if I refresh it, I can now see this application as a linked app here. 
I can see that I have been leaked. And so I can write my first post or I can see what's going on, for example. I can say channel a uh, new one. Create it. And here it is posted. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more or get started, please visit chromi.com and click the developer tab.